Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're doing really well. So yeah, back with another video, and I know it's been a while since my last video, and I said exactly the same in my other video, because there's been some big gaps between my videos, and there is a reason for that. Um, I did have a bit of a, a, a knocking confidence on doing the videos, and that kind of put me off, and some other things that happened that kind of put me off doing it, but I'm back. I'm back on the case, I'm back doing videos and there's plenty to come. So this video is sharing you my Christmas box of beers that I got from Trembling Madness. So we're gonna have a look at some Christmas themed beers that I'm gonna be reviewing over December, along with some normal beers as well. So let's have a crack and dive in to this box here. Uh, let's pull out the first one. First one is from one of my favourite breweries now, New Bristol Brewery. This one is a Irish coffee and vanilla ice cream Offagato Stout, coming in at 6%. Uh, they are making some fantastic beers, our oh, New Bristol Brewery. They really are. Certainly going in as one of my favourite breweries. Uh, that beer costs uh, £4.20 for that one, £4.20. Let's have another lucky dip. And we've got Bad Elf, which is a 4.5% Winter's Ale. There it is. Fair bit of writing on the side, or stuff on, on the side. Uh, and I'll read that out as and when I get around to reviewing it. Let's go for another dip. And this one we've got the Golden Caraloose, the Christmas edition. Certainly looking forward to that one, the 330ml bottle. And this comes in at no idea where's the abv 10 percent abv on that one i'm certainly looking forward to that one oh i'm gonna have to stand up here we go there's another one we've got a 7.5 percent lump of coal dark holiday stout much more than you deserve for christmas this year apparently looks good doesn't that again a lot of writing on the back but i will go through that when i review them but yeah looks good that one that one was the lump of coal. How much was that one? Lump of coal, £3.30. And it's a big old bottle as well. It's a 500ml bottle. The Bad Elf Winter's Ale, that one came in at £2.60 for that. £2.60, 500ml bottle. Bargain. Mm. Let's go that side, and we've got another one from, not another one, it's the first one out from them. Great Newsom, Winter Warmth, Ruby Ale, coming in at 4.6%, 500ml bottle. Winter Warmth, that one was 2 dollars so again, good prices. And then we've got Merry Christmas, a 4.7 Spiced Amber Stout from the... Ilkley Brewery, looking forward to that one. Anything that's got a bit of spiciness to it, look forward to that. That bad boy was £2.75, and again, 500ml bottle, £2.75. Cracking! And then we've got uh, Gordon Xmas, 8.8%. Don't know much about this one. Uh, Oh, I can't read that. I'll cover that when I review it. <laughs> the writing's about that big. Tiny. Uh, Gordon, £3.70. £3.70 for 33cl bottle. And not really a Christmas beer as such, but one I've definitely been wanting to do for a while. It's the Belgian Ale Barista Chocolate Quad. The Belgian Ale Chocolate Quad, that comes in... Uh, uh, £4.10 for that one, 330ml. A bit, yeah, I've been dying to do this one. I've seen some other people review it uh, by Castile Brewery. Um, yeah, really looking forward to that one. And we have Criminally Bad Elf. Criminally Bad Elf, a 10.5% barley wine style. Uh, I love a barley wine. I think barley wines are fantastic. This one says a barley wine style, Al which is interesting. So yeah, that one, 330ml, was, was £2.80 for that one, £2.80. How many more have we got left? Oh, we've got one from one of my most favourite, favourite breweries. And we've got the Echt Schenkerler Echt Doppelbock, 
Uh, I love the Schenkerler beers. They are just fantastic. The smoky Schenkerlers are absolutely superb. I think this Doppelbock uh, is oak smoked. Well, it is oak smoked. I think the, most of the Schenkerlers are beech smoked. I think they only really release this one around Christmas. Could be wrong, but definitely looking forward to that. And that is £4.35. So for a Schenkerler, uh, that is quite expensive really for a Schenkerler. But yeah, I can't wait for that one. Absolutely cannot wait. What else have we got left? Uh, two more, I think. Uh, we've got another bad elf. Uh, this one's called the Dirty Hop Ale, a 6% ABV, 500ml bottle. Dirty Hop Ale comes in at... Where is it? Dry Hop, have we done that one? Oh, this is the one. Dry Hop Winter's Ale, 2 99 for that one. For the Bad Elf Dry Hop Ale. I don't know what I was calling it. Was I calling it Dirty Hop? Who, who knows? It's the Dry Hop Ale. <laughs> uh, dry Hop Ale coming in at 2 99 One more to go. Again, not necessarily a Christmas branded beer, but it's this time of year, isn't it, to be drinking Trappist Ales. And this one's from Tint Meadow and it is an English Trappist Ale. There's certainly a few reviews of this. Uh, I've been meaning to get hold of it for ages. An English Trappist Ale, that sounds like a good one to me. That I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. May even review that tonight. It's out of that or it's out, it's out of these two for tonight's review, I think. But then the Barista Chocolate Quad, that's desperately needs reviewing as well. But there you go. <laughs> They're all my Christmassy beers for some of Christmas beers. Uh, these aren't gonna, won't still be here by Christmas day, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, just a little collection for review in December. It's good to be back. I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye now.